Um, so thrombosis is when blood clots form in uh, your blood vessels and normally these blood clots are forming in response to some kind of vessel injury. And when these blood clots form, uh, they can slow and even completely block blood flow to some of your important organs like the heart, the brain, your lungs and even your limbs. Um, also what happens is when these blood clots form, uh, they can actually uh, break off and then these clots can then travel to distant organs. Um, and this is, for instance, what happens in thromboembolic stroke. So some of the major forms of thrombosis are obviously heart attack, uh, stroke, and thromboembolic uh, venous um, thrombosis. Um, and this can occur, for instance, due to uh, thrombosis in deep vein thrombosis. Um, so this is a blood clot here. Uh, so blood clots are a representation of a blood clot. Uh, so blood clots uh, do normally form um, as part of our uh, physiological uh, mechanisms and there are many components in a blood clot but there are three main ones which we've represented here. Uh, so really the quintessential blood clotting cell are platelets which are the ping pong balls um, and platelets are our favourite cells of the thrombosis group because we uh, study these very intensely. And what platelets do is they really go around patrolling the um, blood vessels looking for different types of injury. And when they detect injury, they immediately aggregate and uh, form what we call a hemostatic plug, which is essentially a band-aid to stop further bleeding. Um, another really important part of blood clots uh, is fibrin, which is the um, elastic bands here. Oops. <laughs> and, and so what fibrin really does is actually stabilize the blood clot and keeps all the components together. Um, so it's really forming a meshwork in and around the blood clot. Um, and now platelets and fibrin are actually some of the main targets of our current drugs in the clinic. Um, so for instance, the main treatment for stroke actually starts cutting up the fibrin to actually dissolve the clot um, and make it looser. Another um, really important part of blood clots are red blood cells. And these really um, occur in blood clots because red blood cells are a major part of our blood. And when blood clots form, they get trapped into the growing fibrin meshwork. Um, so that's how blood clots form and that's what blood clots are.